One of the major problem of using traditional paraphrasing tools including Killboard and Grammarly is that they are causing AI plagiarism. How they are destroying your document and why you have not to rely on these traditional paraphrasing tools for your academic document. You can watch my this video. The link is available in the i button in which I have talked about the details of why these tools are not safe anymore for your academic document and in this video I am going to show you a tool which you can use as an alternative of a killboard and when we talk about Grammarly I am talking about in my upcoming video that what are the best choices to check the grammar and editing and proofreading of your document except Grammarly. So moving forward I am going to write a sample document with the help of a free AI tool called Gemini. Gemini is a very powerful tool which is being used in your research journey how you can leverage the potential of this AI tool and can use this AI tool in your academic document, you can watch my this video. The link is again available in the i button and even you can find my research playlist from the description box where you will find 120 plus videos dedicatedly produced to help you in your academic journey with the help of artificial intelligence. So this is our sample document which we are going to rephrase with both of these tools and going to explore the potential of these tools and how they are compatible with each other. First tool is Killboard and at the moment I'm using its paid version and in the same way I'm using the paid version of Hicks Bypass but you can also use Hicks Bypass in free by taking the benefit of its free trials but if you want to use it for long run then definitely you have to buy its paid version. So most of the students are using Killboard in free and they have only five modes they can use for rephrasing and at the moment I'm using its paid version so I will check its academic mode to paraphrase this specific content and in the same way when I look at the modes of Hicks bypass it gives me four modes which I can use for my paraphrasing process and these four modes provides you different kind of results so in the first mode you will found a rephrase text that helps you to bypass AI detection on a fast mode and in a balanced mode Hicks bypass will provide you a moderate level of rewriting and in aggressive uh, mode you will uh, apply extensive changes to bypass the advanced AI detection tools and in its latest model you will find a rephrase content that is super AI humanized and even turn it in and originality will bypass this so I am going to use its latest mode and will press the humanize button the academic tone and the structure of the document which you rephrased with the help of a Hicks bypass may not be as compatible with the rephrased content content with the help of a killboard but this content is safe on Turnitin as compared to the content which you rephrased with the help of a killboard. You can use the report of Hicks bypass to check the originality of your document and if this report is not clear then you have to rephrase your content as this output says that the rephrase content by Hicks bypass is AI generated content according to the report of all of these tools and then you can press the humanize button again to rephrase rephrase this content and make it humanize as much as possible. So this content is 100% uh, humanized content now and we will check the report of this content on Turnitin. First a look at the sentence structure and the rephrase content that Hicks Bypass and Killboard provide and we will look at the difference of the quality of the content we get after rephrasing from these both tools. One of the fundamental components of our diet sugar provides a surface layer of energy without which we would come to near halt however it's not without a negative effect on the human body. Sugar, a prevalent component of our meal, provide an immediate source of energy but is associated with several harmful effects on the human body. So less and more the structure of the content is same. If we are not satisfied with some of the words or keywords then we can make manual changes but it's better to move with Hicks bypass as compared to Killboard because this is definitely creating a problem at the end. Excessive sugar in the body can lead to all kinds of problems, not only physical but also mental. Excessive sugar intake is a major factor in human nervous health problem affecting both physical and mental health. So less and more, the content quality is same in both of these tools. Now to authenticate which tool should be your best choice, let's have a look on the Turnitin report of both of these tools. This is the report of Turnitin of the content which we rephrased with 
with the help of a Higgs bypassed and it's showing us 8% plagiarism and 0% AI detection and in most of the cases Higgs bypass also help us to deal with the plagiarism along with the AI detection and we can use this tool both to tackle the plagiarism and AI detection in our document. Now let's have a look at the report of rephrase content with the help of a killboard. So as I talked earlier this report is 100% AI plagiarized and this is not safe for your document. The document which you have written by yourself and you just use a tool to restructure that document and now it's in completely danger zone and your document will be rejected when you submit it to your department or any of the journal for research publication. After having a look on the results on Turnitin and the features of these both tools and the potential of these both tools it's very easy for you to make your choice make your safe choice for the best tools for paraphrasing for your academic document and if you still have any confusion and want to explore more avenues or more aspects of these tools you can ask me in the comment section I will be there to reply you before leaving the video don't forget to share this video with others you want to help and subscribe the channel if you want to stay updated with these kind of updates in your academic journey We'll see you in another video. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.